Uh, hi everyone, this is a small tutorial in order to show how to simply send an HTTP request with the ESP8266 that you can find here uh, for $1.5. I'm using also a 3.3v uh, generator that I bought on AliExpress, took something like three weeks to come from China to, to France. And um, so in this video, I'm not tackling how to set the ESP A2 success. If you wish uh, to install it, I strongly advise you to follow carefully these tutorials because I, I followed a lot of tutorial and did not succeed to make it work uh, until using and uh, applying what is explained within this, uh, this specific tutorial. So. Uh, please go just on YouTube and just type in easy way to program an ESP8266 and uh, follow actually this specific tutorial because it's definitely the one who uh, helped me finding out how to configure uh, this <coughs> these full things. Okay, so yeah, very simple things. I'm just going to explain how to send an HTTP request. I'm not a developer guy, actually, I'm a marketing person, so definitely it's not rocket science that I'm going to show. It's going to very be basic, simple, and actually everyone is able uh, to do it on his own. Um, <clears throat> what I will do actually in this uh, HTTP request is I will use uh, Matomo, which is an um, analytics software. And through this HTTP request, I'm going to send to my uh, server uh, a Matomo request in order to register, at least to record the fact that a request has been sent from my Arduino to uh, my uh, Matomo server installation. Okay, so uh, for the one who do not know what Matomo is about, this is um, an analytics tool such as uh, Google Analytics, but as a free software. So currently, this is what I have, right? I have my, my back office, which is recording, let's say, all the visits that I have on my website. And now I'm going to try to push an information which is coming from <coughs> my Arduino in order to say that, uh, let's say, yeah, um, I have, of course, visitors coming to my website, but I also now have robots. Uh, so the one of Arduino, which are now uh, coming to my website, I'm going to send this information through an HTTP request. Uh, the Matomo website is really well done. Here you have the full uh, explanation of how to set an HTTP request uh, for Matomo. And this is what I'm going to show you now in a second. So when you start actually your Arduino, uh, you will see that uh, within the file here, once actually you follow the previous tutorial I, I was talking about, uh, when you set, of course, your board manager to the generic ESP8266 module, so once actually uh, your ESP8266 is recognized, you will have the possibility here to go into samples and within the samples, you will have the possibility to go and grab uh, actually here the ESP8266 Wi-Fi. And as an example, you can just click here on HTTP uh, request and it will be exactly the same code that uh, you can see here. So, as you can see, it's not very, very long. And even if you are not a developer, there's a lot of things that you can already understand is the fact that you need two libraries. So one for the Wi-Fi and one in order to make the request in HTTPS. Uh, then you need to inform here what is the network to which you want to get connected to. So in my case, that's going to be the network of my mobile phone, which is, uh, whoops, which is just here. Uh, then I'm going to need to insert the password. So this is the, let's say, the two things that you will need to edit and save within uh, your uh, script here. So of course, you'll put your your password here. So you say, hey, my, oops, my password. And then here, your network. So I don't know where you are located in, but let's say Wi-Fi airport, something like this, right? Uh, and then, of course, you will save this. Here is the host. So let's say that's the server that you're going to uh, make a request to. So by default, they put it on api.github.com. So in my case, I had to change it by the name of my host configuration. So in my case, that was this part. So I just had to copy and paste it here. Um, 
then actually, yeah, I changed the information. As I told you, I'm not uh, a techie guy, so I don't have a clue about what fingerprint is. So I change it, uh, but by default, they are filling it with a lot of uh, data. So you do not need to touch uh, to this information at all, right? You could have uh, let it as it was. But in my case, I just change it for this tutorial just in order to, uh, let's say, hide it. And the script that you are seeing now is not the one that I'm going to execute, okay? In the one I'm going to execute, I have this information already filled in, and I have the password and my SSID, which are already filled in as well. So uh, that's, let's say, one so one information, two information, and three information you need to change. I didn't change the port. It was working fine with this one. Uh, pay attention with serial begin. Um, here, if by default your Arduino software is configured in 9600, you will need actually, of course, to, to change uh, the display when you click here on a serial monitor, and then you change instead of 9600, you just put it to 115. Two zero zero, and uh, the last part that you need to change is uh, is this part. Okay, that's the URL. So in my case, that's going to be actually the um, the different uh, parameters that I want to send to Matomo in order for it to interpret properly the the request. So just to give you an idea, uh, those parameters are going to be slash pwik.php I decide one, rec one, and UID, because I don't want to spoil my data with some traffic which are not coming from, uh, let's say, um, non, um, I mean, I do not want actually the robot to be considered at the same traffic as the one coming from visitors. So that's why I decided to use what we call the UID. So all those tiny information, right? That's the one that you are finding back when you look at the documentation of Matomo, for example, here they're telling you, okay, in order to push an information, you need at least to have an ID site, to have the right parameter, and then you can choose among all those different parameters that you have here, different data you want to push. And in my case, I decided to push a data which will be UID equals, and then I decided to, um, to put the information actually um, ESP8266. Okay, so um, that's the script I'm going to execute. So I'm not going to show you the upper part because this is where I have my SSID and my password, and I do not want you to, to see them. So um, I'm going to actually save this out, and I'm going to upload now this part within uh, my Arduino. And then once it will be done, actually, uh, the request will be executed. And then I will have the possibility to see it within uh, my Matomo installation. So I'm just going to refresh just in order to show you that I'm not cheating at all and that actually the request is for real. So time to load. OK, so as you can see, uh, no one appears, right? Uh, no one appears since last time. So now I can actually uh, put it on. So I have here all my all my projects. So I have my Arduino card. I have all the wiring which are made in order to have my um, how to say my ESP i two six six working. So all I need now is actually to have my uh, generator on. So I'm just gonna take this cable, put it here. Yes. Okay. Put it here and now. Uh, I'm putting some power within this do, do, do. this generator. So, okay, great. So now, as you can see, my ESP8266 is happy because he has some energy. So, okay. Uh, so now all I need to do is actually to put my uh, program on. So that's the one. I'm just going to now upload it. So taking some time. OK, so here you have a good sign as actually the dots are starting. OK. So here I can refresh it in order to show you once that I'm not cheating, right? So, so far. OK. So still no traffic registered. And that's because the program has not been uploaded yet. 
So uh, what I did not tell you is actually this uh, default program, which is gave, given to you when you install uh, the SP866 uh, program, is actually just sending the request and then once the request is sent, it's closing the program straight away, okay? So that's why I'm not gonna have multiple requests, just one sent and that's it. So now the program is uploaded. So um, I'm not gonna click here on the serial monitor. It's displaying, of course, some information, but um, I'm not 100 percent sure that uh, this, some of the information are not somehow confidential. So that's why I would not want to, um, to show it to you. But basically what it's doing is uh, it's printing those information, the fact that the request has been sent and then the headers are received if they have been received and then they are telling you if it's a success or if it has failed. And now if actually I refresh my page and if I'm lucky enough, I should see actually the request coming from uh, my ESP8266. Wow. So, uh, I'm happy because as you can see, the request has been properly sent as the UID. So I have it here as the UID. And uh, as I did not fill in any extra information, as you saw, there was only the rec parameters and the ID site. Um, it's just taking out actually the IP address, which is the one of my mobile phone and then uh, not giving much information, but the request succeed. So just to... Uh, make a brief summary. Main important thing is just to have your ESP, uh, ESP8266 working. Okay, that's the most important thing. In order to make it work, uh, go on YouTube on the tutorial that actually I, uh, I gave you information about. Follow this tutorial. You will probably have to spend something like 20 to 30 minutes in order to make it work if it's the first time for you. Uh, once it's working, the only thing that you need to do is actually just go on uh, file examples. Then you take the HTTPS request, you change the SSID, you change the password, and you change, of course, uh, the server on which you want to request uh, something. And you create your request, then you execute the program, and then it's sending out uh, the, the request. Um, I really hope I will have the possibility to make some uh, tutorial later on using actually these techniques of sending requests according uh, to different behavior of connected devices that I created. And I really hope that actually you enjoyed this, uh, this tutorial. Thank you for watching.